We've got a beautiful yet very young bird. This is a juvenile Batelier eagle. Now when they're adults, they're normally black and then their legs and their beak are red and very pretty. But this one is still a youngster, so you'll see he's still all brown and he's got his beak is of a bluish color. So there's a pair that lives somewhere around here, so I wonder if perhaps it's not the older offspring, because it takes them about seven to eight years on average to get their their adult plumage. And the reason for it is because then they can go and notice for a while longer before and grow up a little bit more and be slightly stronger before they have to start fighting other battaliers in the area for for a right to establish themselves somewhere and a course to establish or to find a pair or a mate that's probably the correct word to use are you going to start flying around they look very much like a discolored version of the adult <laughs> i see if maybe we can find them in the book Hello everyone! Alrighty, so let me just find the bateliers in the book so we can have a look and a comparison of the youngster versus the older ones. Just need to find them in the book. As though, well, there's quite a debate around what does batelier mean. And apparently Batelier was the name of an old trapezist, or, uh, and hence the name for the eagle because they, they have a very short tail as you can see over here, pretty much no tail compared to s perhaps some of the other eagles around. So when they fly around, it's, it's, they always have a rocking motion, which, so they're not, they're not that stable when they are flying, but the short tail allows them to do sharper turns in, in the shorter time, so that's why I think maybe it was associated with them. As I've heard stories of people saying that batelier means trappist artist in French, but we've got the French expert here, Seb. Seb, that's not true, is it? Mm. Is it true? Kind of. Kind of. It has many meanings, but, uh, but like, yeah, one of them is that. It also means... Ah, interesting. Uh, I've been waiting to find a proper French person to ask this question to. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's... It's, it's a far stretch thing though, isn't it? It is a little bit of a far stretch. But okay, but you can see it with an imagination. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. That was my feeling about it. <laughs> good to know. So we are looking at the youngster, which is this one down here at the bottom. The ones that we were looking at at the top, those are what the adults are going to look like. And then this is what the juvenile looks like. So this is, you see, very light um, and bluish face. The legs haven't gotten their color yet. So after this stage, he's going to come into this stage where the beak is going to start turning yellow and then it's considered a sub-adult and then it's going to turn into one of these two beautiful ones so this is the female on the right hand side with sorry left hand side with the extra white on the on the underwing and then the male pretty much no white around there now it seems like it's quite a process to become an adult eagle around this area so they've got to take their time and make sure they <laughs> They do it slowly so that they develop all the, all the skills that they need to be able to become successful hunters.